Dear Racism, People puzzle me berating others for potentially not voting in the upcoming election when truthfully, this time around, we would vote to give respect and pay homage to those before us, our ancestors. But the truth is, whether you vote or you don't, no matter what you do or don't in this election, you are doomed and for one simple reason. If a presidential candidate means the people of America good, he or she would produce policies and implement a system to enforce permanent change. Now, I'm not saying don't vote. There was a time we couldn't. Ancestors before us fought to have a voice and to be treated as human, much like many of us are still doing today. I am saying I don't blame you for whatever action you take, whether that be to vote or not to vote. We shouldn't have to beg you to care and treat certain groups of people humane. We deserve at least that because we live and breathe. According to biology, our physical makeup, we are human. Why are we asking for an agenda for black people? To be clear, I'm not saying don't ask because we have to. Since it is an automatic and it seems no one truly gives a damn. What I am conveying is we shouldn't have to. There should already be a system that is inclusive, accepts, respects, and protects our differences and way of life. If we expect change, it would look like something totally different than what we have seen. We aren't asking to be given pacification. We aren't babies. We want change. Whatever that looks like, it includes respect and peace. It doesn't look anything like yesterday and truthfully, not even today, in spite of current events. And please don't confuse this for pessimism. I believe things are headed toward the better. We want a 180 degree difference in direction and not a pleasant peek out of the window looking at the table of glory in its beauty and dignity. We are the table, dressed in elegance and decorated with treasures. We deserve some damn respect, dignity, and pride. We deserve our crowns. We are kings and queens. Even you know that. Because everyone hates what they long to be and cannot compete with. Many of us know we are royalty, but you treat us like peasants. Despite all of this, we shine, we smile, we win. We are the damn trend. We have self-love and admiration for ourselves. This is why we rock any mic, grace, command, and shine on any TV screen. It is something that is in us, that nothing but the Creator gave us. Don't be mad about favor. We didn't ask for it. We were deemed worthy. I can't blame nor hate a child born into wealth, even if their parents are thieves and profit from their transgressions. So don't hate me for being royalty from the day I hit the planet. There was Jordan and there was Pippin. Both were great, but individually different. Both were winning on the court and both were for the win. Even when we are teaching, while we're hitting a ball or driving it down the court. We could learn a life lesson of humanity from the game of professional basketball. Jordan and Pippen worked together, and with that, they became champions. And let's not forget about Rodman. He was a whole different breed, but all three of them together, they ran that court. They ran that sport. Today, they are legendary champions. I say all that to say, as people of all different color, beliefs, and lifestyles, let's do the work so we can become legendary champions at this thing we call life. After all, we are spiritual beings living a human experience. Sincerely, a wife, mother, and a black woman.